Hi guys, this is um, our two stage setup. So we've got a rotary engine and this will be our vacuum pump. Uh, off the shelf vacuum pumps um, don't deal with water vapour very well. Um, very expensive and um, only have a maximum of around 1700 to 3000 RPM. Um, I've already tested this one to uh, 46 and a half thousand RPM at 682 mile an hour and that was with a stainless steel rotor the, 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 the new rotor for this cost um, just the parts for the rotor cost about 2,000 uh, pound it's made out of ultra high tensile uh, stainless steel um, stainless steel 420 uh, it's hardened and, um, and tempered and uh, yeah should be easily Good for supersonic, but we, we don't need we don't need this side to be supersonic. Um, this side is the supersonic side. Uh, this is the uh, this is the propelling machine, and this is the propelled machine. Um, so all I need to do is get an uh, get an axle for the rotor for here. I've got some bearings already, and um, basically uh, this. This will be our starter motor, so the air comes in, spins that, spins the rotor around, which sets off a like a belt of air going between this one and this one, um, and it's causing a, a vacuum as well at the same time as the two um, gearing in together viscously, and because that's going around that way. This one will be going around the same way. So uh, the air will be coming, exhausting out of here and here. Uh, because this one's a, a, a converging nozzle this way, you'll get compressed air out of here. And um, the air will be slightly compressed out of here, but it will be more compressed out of this side. Um, just because of the nature of the nozzle. And um, we'll have our are almost frictionless uh, passive magnetic bearings this side uh, and this side we can just use regular ball bearings and I can fix um, an alternator this side or this side uh, for our load so we can um, we can show our investors um, the machine making a uh, making power and to run off atmospheric um, the beauty about the vacuum pump, this side is, um, it, it's a pump and compressor in one, so uh, it's forcing pressure out of the out, out of the exhaust um, at a higher pressure than atmospheric, um, which is great because it means there's no back pressure. And the faster this one goes, the faster this one will go uh, until it gets to the point where this one's supersonic. And, and then we don't need to, to put any more compressed air in here anymore because this one is now propelling this one. Um, but then because this one, this one is the propelling machine and this one is the propelled machine, uh, this one is now amplifying this one and uh, we've got our power and uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you that and um, so it's going to be much, much better to uh, get this sorted than um, than to get a vacuum cleaner because even vacuum cleaners can only make so much vacuum, and uh, this is specifically designed to make high vacuum and handle water vapor. Um, yeah, so ultimately, this is going to be the better direction. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd show you that, boys. Cheerio.